Hi, I'm Don Bees, and this is R2-D2, and this is the Lucasfilm Archives. We have here all the original movie costumes, props, and models from the Star Wars movies. We'd like to take you on a tour. This is Darth Vader from the Star Wars films. Darth Vader was played by David Prowse, an actor from England, and his voice was done by James Earl Jones. If you look closely on the chest plate, you can see that Hebrew lettering underneath the three coin slots that are on the right side of the chest plate. This is Han Solo and Carbonite used in Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. The face is a casting of the actor Harrison Ford. The rest is someone else's body and hands. Chewbacca the Wookiee was played by an actor named Peter Mayhew, who was seven foot two. The gold insect droid from Star Wars, and there's a Jawa at his feet. R2-D2, C-3PO, and a stormtrooper from the Star Wars movies. There were many R2-D2s used to make one character from the films. And these are some of those. R2-D2 was sometimes played by a man in a suit named Kenny Baker. Luke's Landspeeder from Star Wars. This was an actual car that was ridden. The miniature land speeder was used for long distance shots. They gave the impression of the land speeder floating by putting mirrors underneath the fuselage of the ship. The Imperial speeder bike used in Return of the Jedi. At times it was doubled by a miniature speeder bike with a puppet representing the different characters sitting on it. The TIE Interceptor from Return of the Jedi, along with some miniature, miniature TIE Interceptors. The TIE Fighter from Star Wars. As you can see, Vader's TIE Fighter from Star Wars. This is the Double Chili TIE Bomber. It was used in Empire Strikes Back. It was called the Double Chili TIE Bomber because it looked like a pair of chili burritos side by side. The Rebel X-Wing Fighter, complete with R2-D2 in the back. Boba Fett's Slave One. The ship was inspired by a street light post. The Y-Wing, the Snowspeeder, both Rebel Crafts. A miniature pilot from the Rebel Snowspeeder. This is the probe droid that found the Rebels on the ice planet Hoth. The generator on the ice planet. The Millennium Falcon. This is a large four-foot version of the model that was built for Star Wars. You can see the, the corner of the smaller six-inch model that was built for Empire Strikes Back. The ship was also built full-size in England by a shipbuilding firm in Wales. That's the thermal detonator that Princess Leia threatens to blow up Jabba the Hutt with. The Rebel Blaster. Imperial Stormtrooper Blaster. Luke's lightsaber from Return of the Jedi. Darth Vader's lightsaber from Return of the Jedi. The Tusken Raider and his gaffy stick from Star Wars. The three helmets here are two Imperial helmets and Luke's X-Wing helmet from Star Wars. This is the Imperial Beetle helmet, Luke's X-Wing helmet, and the Imperial Guard helmet from Return of the Jedi. Three bad guys helmets from Star Wars movies. The Stormtrooper, the Snowtrooper, 
from Empire Strikes Back. And of course, Darth Vader from all three Star Wars films. C-3PO's mask from all three Star Wars films. An Imperial controller helmet from Star Wars. And Luke's rebel helmet that he used on the Imperial speeder bike seen here in the miniature. This is a prototype for the Tauntaun, the creature that Luke and Han rode in Empire Strikes Back. And this is a stop motion version of the Tauntaun. These are miniature figures used on the sand skiff when the rebels escape from Jabba the Hutt in, in Return of the Jedi. The Jawa Sandcrawler from Star Wars. This is a radio controlled model that was filmed in the deserts of Southern California. The different versions of the Millennium Falcon. The Imperial Shuttle from Return of the Jedi. Two different versions. This is one of the creatures from Jabba's palace. This is Bubo. And that's Jabba himself. That's actually a half scale Jabba. Boba Fett from Empire and Jedi. This is the cockpit dashboard of the land speeder. Jabba's sail barge from Return of the Jedi. This was built full size in Yuma, Arizona. The Wampa Ice Creature from Empire Strikes Back. The Road Creature from Return of the Jedi. He was sitting outside of Jabba's palace and snatched up a crawling insect. These are some of the various creatures that were in the background of Jabba's palace. Some of the various characters from the Jabba the Hutt scene were named Starfish, Klaatu, Barada, and Nictu, the lines that were used from the day the earth stood still, Queequeg from Moby Dick, Woof, Hermiodal, Efant Man, Six Six, Hoover. That's Chewbacca's son from the Star 1978 Star Wars Holiday Special. That's Yak Face from Return of the Jedi. The Rancor from Return of the Jedi. Yoda from Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. These are laser cannons from the Death Star. Early prototypes for different Star Wars ships, the TIE Fighter and the Star Destroyer. That's Darth Vader's damaged wing from Star Wars and various other crafts in different scales. The ship in the case is the prototype X-Wing from Star Wars, and the ship on top of the case is the Y-Wing prototype from Star Wars. Another cannon from Star Wars. Darth Vader's mask that was used for the scene where his mask was taken off by Luke at the end of Return of the Jedi. We hope you've enjoyed this special look at some of the elements that helped create the magic of the Star Wars universe. R2, shall we?